Okay, so this is my uh, first ever video that I'm going to put on YouTube, but I've been working at home and I've been dealing with three laptops to do what I needed to do. One laptop would be for video chat, rather it would be Zoom or Google Meets or whatever, whatever it is that I have to meet on. Another laptop would have policies, documents, information and the other laptop which this one right here you're looking at would be the one that I'd be typing on and putting all the information on that I needed to put on and I just bought this stand steady by sidetrack and installed it on my laptop and so far so good I'll show you a couple things real quick here obviously you have to set up your display settings so I can easily bring that one up bring that one up And I just want to show you how quick everything is moving on it. Do everything as slow as possible. I'm not using any shortcuts. I don't have anything on my desktops. And I'll just pick a video. Mobile popped over this wireless battery bank for an unboxing. Let's check this thing out and see what we got inside. This thing is solid. It's got nice grips on the side. It's Fruit okay. Ninja. I can see everything's coming up. Right speed. There's no real delay. Minimize it. The idea that a human being can throw a playing card with this kind of power and accuracy is insane to me. <laughs> Look at that! And while throwing cards isn't necessarily my strong suit, <laughs> I can design and build stuff, so I made the world's first deadly powerful playing card machine gun. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of the design and performance of my machine. Now, does it have the video quality that my laptop has? I'm really no. Test it out. But I'm go head -to -head, man as you can see, a series of challenges against the best card thrower in the world. You're not really right. losing any performance. So to start off, you load a deck of cards you're doing right what here. And then there's really two, two laptops can do First, for one laptop and a connected monitor. That's what this belt and pulley are for. And so all I did was, it was easy to install. This will slide into here. It's held on by magnets. And actually opening the box. So it basically came like this. No fancy wrapping, no bubble wrap. This was on top of the screen. This was below the screen. Once I removed it out, you have to download the display app. Restart your laptop. Plug it in, make sure it works. All right, trying to get it to focus here. Oh well, if you purchase it, you'll see the instructions. Then when you flip this card over, as it shows you right here to flip it over, you put this on the back of your monitor once you get the magnets in place. And then you press on those tabs there. As it shows... Right there. It's hard to focus with the sliding. Sorry, this is my first time doing one of these videos. Oh yeah, I just pressed it on. They use 3M double adhesive. If 
for the magnets that are going to stick to your laptop and they provide you with extras if you want to stick it onto another laptop as I fight with these magnets to get them out of this box all right there's the magnet side and then there's the sticky side I guess this is a removal tool. It's just a blank card. Piece of plastic. And some paperwork. Now there's manual. It's actually a nice box. It's even got a magnetic lid. But yeah. I recommend it says to center your monitor. I mounted mine high up on my laptop. I didn't quite center it. So as you can see there's a bit more on the bottom than on top. I did that to have more clearance for the monitor. You know you might have a book sitting next to you or what have you and you don't want your monitor running in the stuff when you're opening it or adjusting it so I've got plenty of clearance here and yeah it's doing pretty good it the weight on the back having I think having this monitor balances it forward so the back of this isn't weighed down too much to where my laptop flips back But yeah, that's the sidetrack. And like I said, I was using three laptops to do stuff. So now I can do most of my work with just this laptop. And if I have to do video chat, I'll have to pull in another laptop. But I think sidetrack is coming out with a dual monitor system, which would give me another monitor here. Which, if that's the case, I'll be able to do my video chat here and still work with my other two monitors. Whereas before, my little setup, because I have to work from home, was all right here. I would have a monitor, I would have a laptop here, one here, one here, obviously, and they'd be plugged in over there. Uh, it's just a little ridiculous, but I'm pretty happy with this setup so far. If the monitor holds up, I'll be even happier. I paid, I think it was 300 bucks from Amazon. So I'm hoping it holds up, and if it does, I'll be looking forward to the dual monitor. But yeah, this is my first video, and this is something really productive for me and I haven't seen any videos about it so I figured I'd post this and this is my first time posting anything but the situation that we're in I know a lot of other people might be in my position and might be trying monitors a lot of monitors that I've seen were standalone monitors they didn't attach to the laptop so this I can actually move around with and I'm not stuck in this spot I can actually unplug it and take it with me. The cord's not that much of a hassle. I'll be able to attach it. So, yeah. Hope this helps whoever sees it. And uh, let me know how I did on this video. I'm not doing any editing. I'm just going to post it how it is. All right. You guys take care and have a good one. We'll all get through this together.